double angle formula. Here's the double angle formulas, and you're going to want to write these down as we go through them. Find the exact values using the double angle formula. So now we have the sine of theta equals 1 fifth, and theta is between 0 and pi over 2. So we want to find the sine of 2 theta. Well, here's our formula, and you'll notice that not only do we need the sine of theta, we also need the cosine of theta. So let me show you how this works. Just like before, this is quadrant one, so I'm gonna make our picture, and here is our triangle. Now we know that the sine is y over r, the radius. This is one, and our radius is five. So to figure out the cosine, we're gonna to need to find this guy, because remember the cosine is x over r. Well, that's really easy to do, remember, because we're gonna use x squared plus y squared equals r squared. We're gonna put in what we know. We know that um, y is one, so we have x squared plus one squared, which is one, equals five squared. So we have x squared equals 24, and when we take the square root of that, and we simplify it, we end up with plus or minus, two, the square root of six. Now when we look here, x is positive because we're in the first quadrant. So x will be two, the square root of six. So let's start our formula here. So the sine of two theta is two times the sine of theta, which is one fifth, times the cosine of theta is x over r. So we have two, the square root of six, over five, and we're gonna multiply that and we end up with four, the square root of six over 25, and that is the sine of two theta. Find the exact values using the double angle formula. So this time we have the cosine of theta equals one over the square root of 10, and we're in quadrant four. So let's see what that looks like. Here's our circle, and we're down here in quadrant four. The cosine, remember, is x over r. Our x is one, our radius is the square root of 10. So to figure out for the sine, remember the sine of theta equals y over r. Well, we don't know what y is, so we're gonna go back to our formula for the circle, x squared plus y squared equals r squared. We know x is one, and one squared is one, so we'll just leave it like that. The square root of 10 squared is 10, so we have y squared equals nine, and y equals plus or minus three. Well, since we're in quadrant four, our y is going to be negative three. So the sine of theta will be negative three over the square root of 10. Now if I was asking just for the sine of theta, I would simplify this by multiplying by the square root of 10 over the square root of 10, but since we're finding the sine of two theta, I'm just gonna leave it like this for now. We also need to find the tangent of theta to figure all of these double angles out. And if we remember that the tangent of theta is y over x. So y, we figured out, is negative three, and x is one. So the tangent of theta is negative three. So let's put that into the sine of two theta. Here's the formula. So we're gonna have two times the sine of theta, and we just decided that was negative three over the square root of 10, times the cosine of theta, which we decided is one over the square root of 10, or they actually give it to us. So when I multiply, I get negative six, and the square root of 10 times the square root of 10 is 10, and I do have to reduce it. So it turns out, it turns out that the sine of two theta is negative three fifths. Let's do the cosine of two theta. That's gonna be one minus two times the sine of theta. Now remember the sine of theta is negative three over the square root of 10, and that's squared. So we're gonna have one minus two Negative three times negative three is positive nine. The square root of 10 times the square root of 10 is 10. So we're gonna have one minus, remember this is over one and we multiply, we get 18 tenths. And if we keep doing this without a calculator, this would be the same thing as 10 over 10 minus 18 tenths. So we end up with negative eight tenths and we reduce it to negative four fifths. So it turns out that the cosine of two theta is negative four fifths. Let's do the tangent of two theta. So we're gonna follow our formula. So we're gonna have two times the tangent of theta, which we decided is negative three, over one minus the tangent of theta squared. So we have negative six on the top, or the numerator. One minus negative three squared is nine. 
So it turns out we have negative 6 over negative 8, and that reduces to 3 fourths. And this is the tangent of 2 theta. Find the exact values using the double angle formula. This time we have the cosecant of theta equals the square root of 7, and we're in quadrant 2. I want you to try this one. I would like you to find the sine of 2 theta, cosine of 2 theta, and tangent of 2 theta. So pause, get a solution, and play to see if you're correct. So remember that the sine of theta equals 1 over the cosecant of theta. So it turns out that the sine is 1 over the square root of 7. So let's look at that on our picture. We're in quadrant 2. Oops, this should be a little straighter. Here we go. Remember, the sine is y over r. So our y is 1, and our radius is the square root of 7. We also need to find the cosine of theta to figure out all of these. Well, the cosine, remember, is x over r. So we're going to need to use our circle formula to figure out our x value. Well, we know that y is 1, and 1 squared is 1. The square root of 7 squared is 7. So it turns out that x squared is 6. And if we go a little farther, x equals plus or minus the square root of 6. Now, we know that it's going to be negative the square root of 6 because we're in quadrant 2. So the cosine, which is x over r, is negative the square root of 6 over the square root of 7. Now once again, if I was just asking for the cosine of theta, I would need to simplify this by getting rid of the radical and the denominator. But since I'm asking for um, the sine of 2 theta, cosine of 2 theta, and tangent of 2 theta, I'm just going to leave this alone for now. And finally, we need the tangent of theta. Hopefully you remember that that's y over x, and that gives us 1 over negative the square root of 6, and we just call that negative 1 the square root of 6. So now we have all the pieces to figure out our answers. So let's find the sine of 2 theta. Well, that's going to be 2 times the sine of theta, which is 1 over the square root of 7, times the cosine of theta, which is negative the square root of 6 over the square root of 7. And we're going to multiply straight across, so we have negative 2, the square root of 6. The square root of 7 times the square root of 7 is just 7. So it turns out that this is the sine of 2 theta. Let's find the cosine of 2 theta. That's 1 minus 2. And the sine squared, well remember the sine is 1 over the square root of 7 squared. So we have 1 minus 2, and this is 1 over 7. We have 1 minus 2 sevenths. And without using a calculator, let's figure it out. So we have 7 sevenths minus 2 sevenths turns out to be 5 sevenths. And that is the cosine of 2 theta. Finally, let's find the tangent of 2 theta. So we're going to have 2 times the tangent of 2 theta, which is negative 1 over the square root of 6, all over I forgot to put my squared in there. 1 minus negative 1 over the square root of 6 squared. So we end up with negative 2 over the square root of 6 all over 1 plus 1 6. We would have negative 2 to the square root of 6. And this is the same thing as 6 sixths. So we have 5 sixths. And remember, when we divide fractions, we change it to a multiplication. Yep, this one's a little bit longer than the others, but we're still going to get it. So we have negative 12 over 5, the square root of 6. Now in this case, I can't have a square root in the denominator because I'm actually looking for my complete answer. So I'm going to multiply by the square root of 6 over the square root of 6. It goes negative 12, the square root of 6 over 5 times 6. Okay, So we have negative 12, the square root of 6, over 30. And when I reduce it, I get negative 2, the square root of 6, over 5. And that's the tangent of 2 theta. And I hope you learned something today. Thanks for watching.